chronic pain and it started in 2001. Um, I suffer from chronic pain. <laughs> and, um, okay. Um, and it started in 2001. I had surgery on both wrists and both elbows and I had a lot of neuropathy, permanent nerve damage up in my upper body and down both arms. And um, a few years later, I ended up having two um, very herniated discs in my neck and I had um, two discs replaced. And I was trying to recover from that and within um, a year, I got hit um, really hard with autoimmune diseases. Fibromyalgia and RA are the worst for me. I became, I became bedridden for four years. I didn't leave the house only to leave the house to go to the doctors or a quick trip to the store. And um, I suffer from, um, like I said, fibromyalgia, RA, IBS, um, osteoarthritis, osteoporosis, restless leg syndrome, and neuropathy. So I have a lot to deal with. And um, my husband's always looking and always researching stuff to help me. And when we, um, let me back up a little bit. Um, so the pain that I lived with for that four years was, um, you know, most doctors will ask you, is it between a one and a 10? Mine was like a 15 on a daily basis. Um, it was hard for me to just get up and go to the bathroom. Um, my depression got extremely severe. Um, There's times when I didn't want to live anymore because I felt like if I have to be like this. Oh. <laughs> yes. I started losing my hair. Um, I gained 50 pounds and I pretty much lost myself. I was like an empty shell. Um, I talked to Nalani and told her, you know, about myself and um, the jet, this was in um, early August, so the jail was um, on back order. So my husband was desperate to find me something. So um, he bought some from somebody on the East Coast for $180. And um, <laughs> I happened to be in a really bad flare up for four weeks. And when I started the jail, I was in my fourth week. And um, the pain for me with the fibromyalgia, it's like somebody is sticking me with electrical currents. And um, I just felt like my body was humming constantly because the pain was so bad. So I started taking the gel, you know, laying down, not doing anything for four weeks. And um, within two days, I had this burst of energy and I didn't know what to do with myself. But I still had pain. So I know myself, I suffered this for years, so I knew I needed to keep resting. By the third or fourth day, the gel pulled me out of the flare-up. Wow. Nothing has ever pulled me out of a flare-up. Wow. Um, my energy, I can't even tell you. Um, you know, I didn't sleep for years because every time I'd move, I'd wake up and feel the pain and then have to go back to sleep again. And um, so now I'm sleeping through my alarm two and three hours. I can't <laughs> even do it. Um, a lot of you from Southern California know about the, um, the Rose Bowl Swap Meet and Antique Show. Um, we've been going to it for about 20 years and a couple of weeks ago we went and I haven't walked around the entire Rose Bowl in over 10 years. And I walked it twice, and I had pain. I got the pain to come the next day, and I woke up completely pain-free. Yes. Um, I have RA really bad in my hip, and since the beginning of the year, it just feels like somebody has a knife, a hot, hot knife stuck in my joint. And I, a lot of times, have to walk with a limp because it's so painful. And um, and I don't even know when that went away. It was probably a week, week and a half. Wow. And I told my husband, I don't feel the, the pain in my hip anymore. So this has really given me my life back. Oh, I can't tell yes. you. Yes. <laughs> um, 
That's incredible. That is. Yeah.